Um, we just want to know why are you interested in the stock draft? Um, I've just kind of really wanted to venture out into a different realm other than being a baseball player because you, know, you never really know how long you're going to be able to play this game for. And once I do get out of this game, I don't know if I necessarily want to get into right into retirement, but maybe into a different career path and just kind of learn how to manage the money I could potentially make in playing baseball. Are you pretty hands-on? Will you, you know, I know, you, like you said, you've watched Kramer and David Faber and, and what, I mean, do you then kind of go off and say, maybe I should pick up some AMD or whatever they're talking about? Um, well, at the moment right now, I have some, a financial team that I, I do trust, but I also want to just uh, kind of want to be a, a student of the game and like, just like how I am playing baseball. Um, and just not just be one faceted kind of. All right. So last question for right now is, do you have a strategy for the stock draft today? Um, yeah, I got a list of, uh, of stocks that I like the most. Um, but, you know, we'll based see how on it all what? plays out. Based on what? Uh, there's really no basis. On it. <laughs> he's playing it close to the vest, Kelly. He doesn't want it. He's picking six in the draft. He doesn't want guys like Seymour to picking know where his head is at. I mean, that's how he rolls. Now, you know what? The best case scenario, you pitch to you 40 years old, and I hope that happens, and you look great in pinstripes in about five years. Just saying, I know I probably shouldn't say that, but I'm saying it. With that said, 40 years old, you're still a young man. You've made a decent amount of money. Uh, you got to start somewhere. And watching Jim, watching Faber, watching Kelly show the exchange yeah, and Power sure. Lunch. Watching guys. And then Fast Money 5. But no, that's how you sort of build up to the, the point where you can sort of do this on your own. And although you have a team, instead of listening to those guys and gals, maybe start giving them some input as well. Is that where your head is at? I think so. You know, I think that's kind of the, the routes I'm going. I've recently become obsessed with the show Billions. And, huh. um, you know, you can make a lot of money playing baseball. Um, but I'm looking towards more of the, the, the FU kind of money. I'd love to see. <laughs> that's why I like Noah Syndergaard. He comes on this show and he talks about FU kind of money. I dig that. <laughs> and FU kind of money is going from what he's making now, which is significant and will be better when he signs that next contract, to making billions and maybe parlaying that into like a Derek Jeter type but situation. But you know what, Noah? A lot ownership. of people. Ownership. ownership. Yes. I was going to say a lot of people have gone off course by trying to make the quick money or they've they've gotten involved in bad deals or they think oh this is the next hot thing and it doesn't pan out how do you figure out you know how to use your fame or how to make the right investments or how to get ownership um you know I just kind of start off slow I gotta kind of have a plan right now but that could definitely change depending on how my career path goes um but right now I just want to kind of soak in as much knowledge as I can before I start really get into the thick of things. He mentioned Jeter. I mean, we were just talking about LeBron James the other day who's done some interesting stuff, you know, in business world. Is there anyone in particular you look to as, as kind of has done it the right way who you'd want to follow? I think LeBron James is doing a tremendous job. I don't know the exact details of what he's doing, um, but I think the man's taken over the world and not only the sports side of things, but entertainment and who knows what else he's doing. Yeah. You fired up for this draft? I, I could mean, see it. No. You see his eyes? Man, he's a killer. He looks, he's I looking am, to drill me now. I love it. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm new to the competition, but I don't want my competition to take me lightly. There we go. Right there. And there is such a thing as beginner's luck. Um, Noah, thanks. It's great. That we're looking forward to it in a couple of minutes. Guy, thank you. You are going to be part. You're like the, the analysis team. So yeah, I'm, I'm with JC again. Of course, the great Melissa Lee. We did this last year. We had a blast. We're going to do it again this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. It's all in a couple of minutes' time. Uh, we're less than 15 minutes away. Stick around for that. It begins at 2 p.m. Eastern, guys. Thank you, and we'll see you very, very soon. Thank you. Up next, a closer look.